hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel how are you all doing i hope everyone is doing well great 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 if it's your first time you are welcome my name is julianne and we're happy to have you here and it will be nice if you you know subscribe to this youtube channel so that we can grow this channel together and um, yeah please press the like button and the notification bell yeah so today i'm going to be making fish stew and chicken stew so come on into my kitchen let's cook so for our fish stew that's the fish i'm going to be using i'm using mackerel so it's all washed and ready to go in the oven i'm going to be roasting it so you can fry your fish if you if you if you prefer um you can even people some people just steam their fish as well but i like to roast mine okay so that's the fish it's all washed and ready to go in the oven i'm going to be seasoning it with this black pepper and salt okay and that's my peppers onions i've got some onions got some bell peppers and lots of tomatoes okay and that's my scotch bonnets i've got a few scotch bonnets in there so all washed and i'm going to blend that shortly okay and then i've got some garlic and ginger okay that i'm going to add to the pepper mix to be blended right okay so now i'm going to start making my fish stew so i've got some I've, I've blended my pepper mix here so you can see i've got lots of pepper mix so i'm going to be making two stews actually i'm going to be making um the fish stew as well as some chicken stew as well um yeah so that's my pepper mix all blended and that's my onions that i've just chopped i'm going to be using ground nut oil today to make my fish stew and that's my seasoning cubes and i'm going to be adding some basil leaf to the fish just to give it some flavor so let's go i'm going to turn on the heat and by the way i'm using my le creuset pan <clears throat> okay okay i'm going to start by adding some oil so that's my oil We'll let the oil heat up for a bit before I add the onions. Okay, so I'm going to add the onions. There. Okay, so the onions it's all fried. And I'm just going to add the pepper mix. Okay, that's my pepper mix. Um, as we saw at the beginning, it was um, a mixture of tomatoes, um, bell peppers, um, scotch bonnet, some ginger and garlic. So for the rest of the pepper mix, I'm going to be using that for my chicken stew. So what I'm going to do now is to just pour it into the pot. Pour it in the pan. And I'm going to turn on the heat. Okay. So, yeah, we'll leave that to boil on its own. Right. Okay, let's check on our stew. Okay. It's been boiling for few minutes let's stir it you can see it's looking nice already okay and the the juice is drying up it's becoming thicker and thicker so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to add the seasoning so this is the seasoning cubes i showed you earlier and i've just crushed it i'm just going to pour it in and i'm going to add some salt as well I'm just going to add not too much salt because I've got some salt in the fish. So, that's the salt. Stir it all in. Okay, 
I'm just going to leave it again to cook again for about four minutes before I add the fish. So this is our fish out of the oven. Can you see our fish from the oven? So I'm going to put it in the stew now. Let's see how our stew is doing. Oops. So as you can see, this stew does not have lots and lots of oil. I don't like to use too much oil to make my stew, um, as the fish would, you know, release its own oil as well into the stew. So at this point, I think it is ready to have the fish come in. Um, I've tasted for salt, it's good. So I'm just gonna be adding the fish in now. Okay, so we've added the fish in the stew and I'm just going to cover it to, you know, just infuse the fishy taste into the stew. So we'll give it about three minutes to do that and our stew is done. Okay, now let's see. So we need to be careful now with stirring. We don't want to break the fish into pieces. Okay, so this is what our stew looks like. It doesn't have loads of oil, but it's very delicious. Yeah, and I believe it's cooked. I'm just going to add the basil. I love the, the you know the taste of basil in a fishy stew. Okay, like the basil, 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 however you pronounce it. Okay, and that's it. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, and I'm going to turn off the heat as our stew is done. So this is how I make my fish stew most of the time and you can have this, you can have it with rice, yam, whatever you like. We're going to be having this with rice today. Right, so this is the pepper mix for the chicken stew. And I haven't added any oil, but you can see some traces of oil on it. And it's because of the chicken stock, which I added to it. So um, I've left it, I left it to boil for about, it's been boiling for about 20 minutes now. So I'm going to add the oil. So I'm using granite oil as well. Right, we've got scarcity of oil here, kind of. And so when you go to the shops, the oils, the, the, the oil shelf are empty. And yeah, so there's shortage of cooking oils. So I don't know about where you are. Is there shortage of cooking oil? Let me know. So I do love granite oil. Um, yeah it doesn't have such a strong taste but i just like it okay so i'm just going to leave it to boil for a minute and i'll add seasoning and the chicken that'll be it so my fish look at the head i don't know who loves to eat the head of fish it's not my favorite thing, but somebody in my house loves it. So it's going to have the head of the fish. Right. Okay. So this is it. So I'm going to add some salt. That's some salt. I don't like to put too much salt because 
the chicken stock had some salt and food in it. Okay, and I'm also going to add the seasoning. So, the seasoning cubes that I've just crushed. And I'm going to stir it together. Press, press down. Okay, and now I'm going to add my chicken. So this is my chicken, it's not a lot of chicken. I've boiled it and um, dried it up in the oven. Okay. Okay, so stir it in and cover it to cook. And that's it, simple, 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 simple. Just cover it. So this chicken stew is only very little. Um, I've made it for someone who's going back to uni tomorrow. So I'm going to pack it now, let it cool, and I will take it to the students going to uni. So that's the chicken stew done. Very simple. No. Too much process that's it right guys so this is our chicken stew and our fish stew so it's packed and ready to go to our dear student going back to uni so i hope you enjoyed watching this video with me today i know everybody knows how to make fish stew and chicken stew but I just wanted to share with you how I make mine very simple and straightforward and a bit healthier. So if you like the, this video, just click the like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you very much and I see you again in my next video. Bye.